Hi, I wonder if anybody is available today in the middle of the day. It is now Wednesday at almost two o'clock on um, June the 12th, 2019. And hey, my dog and cat are fussing with each other. Imagine that as they always do as soon as I get online. Hello, hello, Brian. Hey, hello. I've got six people already here. Welcome. Thanks so much for joining me spontaneously since I did not like schedule this and tell you like exactly when I was going to be on. Um, so hi, good to see you. I've got some like smudge here. <laughs> I'm at Imagine that. <laughs> All right, Ruth, Sonia, Laura, hello, everybody. Let's wait one more minute and see um, see what's going on here. Our phone is beeping. Uh, boy child just landed safely in New York City. Yay, he's back on American soil. Yay. <laughs> so he just needs to get through customs and then he'll be home. Okay. Lay it on me. So he will be home later tonight and then I get to pick him up. So sorry about the interruption. I thought I was done texting for a while. <laughs> anyway, I want to wait a few more minutes. We've got 11 people in the chat room. Hello, what are you working on? So hello, hello, Adele. Hello, Laura. Hello, Jeannie. All right. Hello. So as you know, the giveaway um, was three of these luscious blue hanks of yarn from Maple Creek Farm, Hickory, 65% wool, 35% silk, hand wash, lay flat to dry, gorgeous stuff, absolutely gorgeous. This is an excellent representation of the color right here because I've got good natural light coming in finally. <laughs> Hello, Tammy. Hello, Terry. Let's see who else I have here. Let's see. I can close that. All right, working on the cosmic cat. I don't even know what that is. Okay, let me just reply to this. I am so sorry. Uh, it's okay, it's okay. All right, so um, I was supposed to meet someone for lunch and they're canceling on me. So it's like, uh, it's okay, it's okay. Late lunch. Okay, so we have three of the Hanks and the Learn to Be Crochet DVD. And so there's actually like eight classes that I have offered, um, but like, why do that when you can come watch me on YouTube for free anytime you want, right? <laughs> so if you're in, if you really want the patterns, go get the DVDs and uh, video classes. My cat and dog are fighting upstairs. This is the kind of day I'm having, but I'm going to make the day of one person. I pulled the, and I and I but I screenshotted it. So let me look again. I'm sorry. Okay, the winner. So we have 17 people in chat. Give me a thumbs up if you're re ready to hear the giveaway winner. Working on a crochet case. Working on a ma'am and a temp afghan. Oh, I want to do a temperature afghan. I haven't done one of those yet. Working on a crochet case. Hi from South Africa. Hello. Hello, Ruth. Hello, Estella. Rolling through life. Hello, Mare. Yes. Hello. Hi, Wanda. Yep. Hi, everybody. Okay. So 18 people. Yay. 18 people in chat. So I randomly selected a winner from all the people who subscribed to the channel, left a comment on the giveaway video and like the video and a drum roll, please. I am going to type in the name. The name of the winner, assuming she, sorry, Brian, <laughs> is a U.S. resident or has a U.S. mailing address is Pamela Allen. Yay, Pamela Allen. Pamela Allen, you are the winner of the giveaway. I randomly pulled her name out of all the comments from the people who subscribed and liked the video. So Pamela Allen, yay. So Pamela, what you need to do is email me. I'm putting my email in at ellen.gocrochet at gmail.com and give me your US mailing address and I will mail out your yarn and your video. Yay, Pamela, thank you so much for subscribing and liking the video and watching and giving thumbs up. You're probably not here today right now, but that's okay. You don't have to be present to win. Um, 
But Pamela, if you could let me know your mailing address um, by the end of the month. So I, you've got until uh, August, I'm sorry, August, June the 30th um, to give me your mailing address and I will mail that out. And then after that, I will pick a new winner or something. I don't know what I'll do. So usually people like get back to me. So hopefully Pamela will get back to me and I can mail out her prize. Okay. How is everybody? Um, thank you so much for participating in the giveaway. It was kind of a, you had better odds this time <laughs> than usual with the giveaway. Not quite as many people entered this time. I think it's a really busy time of year. And then of course I had taken like a month off. So a lot of people, I think, uh, you know, forgot about me there for a while and that's okay because the odds were better for you for the giveaway. There is, however, another giveaway coming up on June the 19th. Okay, so never another giveaway coming. So June the 19th, I will um, air that video. That video will go live with all the details, the prize and all of that. And so um, you want to stick around. You want to stay subscribed and watch the videos in between. So June the 19th. Mark that on your calendar. I usually put videos up at 8.30 in the morning on um, Eastern time. So, hey, 8.30 in the morning, Eastern time, June the 19th, which is next Wednesday. Okay. So uh, my new book. Oh, I'm not telling what the prize is. Sorry. It's a secret. You just, you're, you just have to come back and see. <laughs> You'll have to come back and see. Laura's doing good. You've got the moose lovey done. Hey, should I show you my progress on my um, the off to college blanket? The off to college blanket has made good progress uh, since Mara has been busy out of the country. And so I've worked hard on it. Um, I've worked hard on it while she was gone. I made a bunch of squares and then I put together all the squares that we both had made. And so, okay, you want to see it then? Okay, let me grab it. It's like right over here. I'll hurry. I'm coming. Here I come. So in the last video, we talked about different joining techniques. And so... Um, if you remember correctly, I decided to um, slip stitch through the outer loops with the right sides of the motifs facing each other like a grilled cheese sandwich with the right sides in the middle like squished together. So I have a lot. So this is um, so this is half of it. This is half of it. And so when I drop it, it's it's gotten pretty big. I don't know how long how big she wants it. It's now approximately not my entire wingspan. So I'm five foot five. So it's not five foot five yet that way. And it is approximately, let's see, from, from my outstretched hand over here to this collarbone is 36 inches. So it's approximately 41. <laughs> so it's about 41 inches right now by uh, maybe close to 60, but not quite my height, not quite my entire wingspan. <laughs> so it's not quite five foot by five foot, but it's probably um, 41 inches by, what did I say? <laughs> 60 ish. Okay. Have you guys ever, do you guys know that? Do you know that I do that? Um, I, I, so I figured out at one point in my life, I took a measuring tape and I measured from my outstretched arms, holding the tape measure across my body over to this collarbone is 36 inches. <laughs> and so I just use myself as like a, um, human measuring tape <laughs> so anytime I need to measure anything like that I know that that's like and it's an estimate like I, I don't do that for anything that I need to be precise don't get me wrong but if I'm like measuring stuff I know that that's 36 inches <laughs> and so also I, I'm pretty sure that um, biologically speaking humans in general their wingspan is as wide as their height, right? And <laughs> didn't I read that at the zoo once? <laughs> you 
like, you know, when you like stand next to like the, um, the outstretched arms of like the gorilla drawing on the wall at the gorilla house at the zoo. And it's like, their arms are like gargantuan. Like, now mine are very long. So maybe they're a little bit longer than I am tall, but um, you know, I think I read that, that your height is as wide as your reach is. <laughs> so I, if I'm five foot five, then tip to tip, I should be, five foot five, which is what, 65 inches, right? <laughs> anyway, fun with math. <laughs> Who said that crocheters can't have fun with numbers, right? <laughs> so just a little fun fact. So anyway, so the blanket is turning out well. I've got ends obviously to do. Looks like that's the back side anyway. So I still have ends to do, but I'm working on it. The off to college blanket. Um, I sent Mara a picture and um, she's it's in the middle of the night in South Korea right now. So she's not going to jump on board right here. But um, she sent her uh, thumbs up of approval on the last video. So um, I'm so glad that that's going to work. And it is in this lovely merino wool chic sheep by Marley Bird for Red Heart Yarn. The colors are VIP, which is the blue. No, wait a minute. Is that right? VIP, which is the blue, and I think the white is called lace, if I'm not mistaken. So I think she's going to love it, and um, we're getting there. We're making good progress. So come here, Hobie. He just rang the doorbell. So we have a little um, Christmas bell hanging from the back doorknob, and he's supposed to ring that when he wants to go out, but he... Um, just went out a few minutes ago and he just thinks it's fun to just ring the doorbell to go outside randomly. Let's read some comments. Normally, Ruth, you're usually at a knitting group. Oh, well, I'm glad that you're here, but I don't usually do it the exact same time. Like I, I don't know. I usually on Wednesdays, I'm at the office, so I don't usually do it um, Wednesdays at this exact time. It's really you guys just have to be aware. <laughs> you just have to follow me all the time and have the notification bell turned on so that maybe if YouTube decides to actually send out a notification that you might actually get a notification when I go live because you never know when that's going to happen. So you know what? The safest bet is just to always have my YouTube channel playing in the background wherever you are all the time. <laughs> so when you have, when you turn on your computer in the morning, you just open another tab, you hit Ellen Gormley Crochet on the YouTube playlist and hit play all <laughs> and just let let the channel play in the background, even if you turn down the, the sound and just let me play on all day long or leave the song, the sound on and I can just keep you company because, you know, we all want company, right? <laughs> OK, so hi from uh, from Ohio. Hi, Lisa. Yes. Hello. Yeah. Congrats, Pamela. Thirty six inches is your sleeve length, Brian. That's a no way. That's not right. That is not right. Your arms are not that long, Sasquatch man. Okay, rolling through life. But the kids, like, that's a joke that I'm an orangutan because my arms are so incredibly long and my legs are really long too. So, like, if you were to see a photo of me, when people see a photo of me, like, full length, they think I'm like six foot tall and I'm not. I'm only five five. It's just, it's an optical illusion, friends. <laughs> that's what happens when you look like spaghetti. <laughs> oh, yeah, if that's an easy way to measure is just my wingspan and it works out okay and it, it's convenient. Hello, Linda. Hello, Laura. Hello, Monica. Yes. Okay. Hi, Cindy Joe from Central Pennsylvania. So, hey, everybody. So I've been working on the blanket today and I did, did I show you the finished red hat that I was making for Mara, the college, the first draft of the college hat, the first college hat? Hmm. It had, it was, I showed you in the last video, it had like a Tunisian linked stitches crown. And then from the crown, it was a basket weave pattern all the way down. And um, Chicky Mara really liked it. The problem is that um, it's not the right color red for Indiana. So I, that was my first draft anyway. So I found the right color red and the right color red happens to be Barocco vintage Ruby that I had in my stash. So I, I think it was Ruby. 
I think that's what it was called. And so I am going to remake the hat. And then I got another idea for a second hat for her. I wanted at least two hats for her. Um, I wanted a, at least one scarf, one cowl and mitts for her. So I'm working on it. And hopefully I'll do tutorials here on YouTube as soon as I write down the patterns. So. OK, so anyway, yeah, so we're working on it. So we've got the video, the live stream giveaway. There's going to be another giveaway on the 19th. It's not going to be a live stream. It's a, a taped video on the 19th, 8.30 a.m. Eastern. Um, and Pamela Allen was the winner of this giveaway. Yay, Pamela. Working on the off to college blanket, working on hats for college. So finally, things are starting to kind of get back in the groove after I took a month or so off. Don't forget, I also, you always come to me for um, the latest news in the industry. And I think I told you that F&W, my book publisher, just sold the book division. They had filed bankruptcy and they sold the book division to Random House Penguin. So that's good news. So let's hope that my book is back on track and is going to be um, all systems go. I think it is. So that's great news. The other industry news that you may or may not have heard, and it just flew out of my head, and it's going to come back. I always say, you know, my dad is ADD. I know my dad is ADD. Way before ADD was a thing. I know my dad is ADD. And I don't think I am, but you know what? <laughs> the older I get, the more I think maybe I am, because like I cannot keep a thought in my head and it'll come back. So I was telling you about industry news and I was telling you, you already know about that. You already know about, oh, got it. <laughs> um, so I uh, love crochet and love knitting are two div uh, divisions of a company from the United Kingdom called Love Craft. And they have forums for love crochet and love knitting. And a lot of my projects, my or my patterns rather, are for sale on lovecrochet.com. Um, and I'm gonna, while I'm talking to you, I'm gonna grab that tab. Well, apparently they now have decided that we all can be friends and they are not going to have love crochet and love knitting. They're just going to have love crafts. So you can get my patterns um, for sale. Some, I think all of them are for sale. There might be one or two free ones on there. But at this link, which is lovecrochet.com. But if you have an account for love crochet or love knitting, you are automatically just getting going to get swapped over to their umbrella platform, Love Craft which I think is fantastic because why do we need two platforms for crochet and knit? It's all yarn. We're all friends. We, you know, we can be uh, by stitch, stitchual, <laughs> by craftual. <laughs> it's all good. Like there's no reason to be, you know, us and them or them and us. There's no need for that. We can all play with yarn together. <laughs> so there is such ad, uh, advantages to one craft and then the other has different advantages. So it's all good. So I'm really excited about that. So that's new news. Yeah. So when you knit and crochet, like why have to go two different places? That's just silly. I mean, you can really filter out most of that stuff anyway. Like even on Ravelry, you can filter it out by craft. Like if you want to just look at knit results or if you only want to see crochet results, I think Ravelry even has a weaving spinning option. So anyway, there's no need to like have two destinations. Love crafts is it. And if you want to, you can click on the link that I put here in the chat. Um, that's my love crochet page, which I think is just going to get pulled into love craft. And so I hope to see you guys there. Yeah, that'll be good. I think it's a good thing. Anyway, well, I guess that's pretty much the news that I had for you today. Does anybody have any news for me? <laughs> I like to keep you updated on all the ins and outs that are going in the crochet and yarn industry. Um, I don't know what other news there is. I actually, um, 
I just try to keep abreast of what's going on in the world. So I know Crochet Guild of America's conference is coming up in a few weeks right now. So if you're, you are a Crochet Guild of America member, even if you're not going to the conference, check your email because it's uh, time to vote for the leadership of the guild for the next year. So um, check your email for that. And um, I heard a rumor that Crochet Magazine, which I used to be the editor of, um, just dropped 10 pages out of their issues. Anybody else know that? Did anybody else have evidence of that? So, um, yeah, so that magazine has just gotten thinner. So, and not in a good way. <laughs> Thin isn't always better. <laughs> At 10 pages, yeah. Um, unless I'm mistaken, but that's the rumor that I heard. It's definitely smaller, and I think by 10 pages. So, that's a bummer. And then, you know, we've had some other magazines over the years like drop out of publication, and that's never a good thing for the industry. So, the ways to maximize the yarn industry right now is to support your favorite designer <laughs> and um, buy patterns and buy yarn and, hey, use up all the yarn stash you've got by um, by going getting my book One Skein Crochet and use up some of that stash so that you can economize and really buy what you want. Like, um, let me read this message. Okay. So let's see, I just made a new contact with um, a brand new in, in the Indie Dyer yarn company. And so as soon as I get permission to talk about that, that's going to be some news. That's really exciting. Also, my Pinterest page. Let me tell you about that. I've really been going nuts on Pinterest lately, and I hope that you'll join me on there. If you are a, a pinner like me, and want to, um, I'm gonna grab the link here for you. Let's, let's see, here it is, this is one. Okay, so if you like to pin, and I, I love to pin like not only crochet, but food and shoes and running and everything. If you like to pin like I do, come join me on my Pinterest page and I am trying to paste the link. It's pinterest.com slash go crochet and there it is. So I would love to see you over there and uh, pin to your heart's content. I do try these on the YouTube. I to, do try to always pin the videos when I make them so that they go over to Pinterest as well. And of course, I do that on Instagram and Twitter and stuff too. So you can check me out on Instagram at uh, the Ellen Gormley and on Twitter. Um, I think I'm my the Ellen Gormley on there too. Let's see. I don't remember what I am on Twitter. <laughs> There's so much. Oh, and this is my work page. So that's not going to help me. But anyway, you can find me most places. And now you can find me fresh stuff on Pinterest because I'm having a lot of fun with that. Uh, you read about Cindy Jo. You read about love crochet and love knitting yesterday. Hirschner's is having a big sale starting today. Hey, cool. Hey, so stock up on single skeins of yarn so that you'll have a bunch when you get my book. Uh, August the 13th is when that book finally goes live. So yeah, that'll be good. Anything else? Any other news going on? Marley's Chic Sheep Yarn continues to be at Joann's in Canada. You can also find it at redheart.com. And that's the yarn that I used in this blanket. So let's see. And But I know that they had it on sale at Hobby Lobby recently, but it's only eight colors. And, I, you know, I think quantities are limited. So, um, but check it out if you can. Yeah, absolutely. And I'm trying to think if there's any other big sales going on. I think right now everybody's trying to get rid of their fall and winter yarn. Or no, no, no. Their spring and summer yarns they're trying to get rid of because the new fall lineup of yarns will be debuted at like TNNA and other um, events like June and July. And then all, they'll hit hard with um, fall and winter yarns real quickly after that. So that's what's next on the horizon. 
Um, one of you said you were working on serious um, holiday stitching soon. So I hope you're making good progress with that. And I guess I ought to do that too. But really, what's next on my agenda is trying to get this off to college stuff done, which is August <laughs> for us, the end of August. You shopped Hershner's this morning an hour after opening online, and they're mostly out of the 50 set yarns. A lot of others are also out of stock. Oh, that is a bummer. Well, you know, you, you did your best. You know, you never know how many quantities they had of those things, though. So, yeah, it may have sold out, but if they only had 10 of them, you know, who knows? Like, how many did they have to begin with? So, I don't know, maybe they had a ton and they're just doing a ton of business, which is great for them, no problem. But if they only had a few of things anyway, then you don't you didn't have much of a chance, right? So anyway, still, even with the other discounts, it's worth checking it out because that one skein that you need might be there and be on sale. Uh, what else is going on? Mm, guess that's about it. I am going to go sketch down that other idea I had for the second hat. You've been enjoying the Tunisian playlist? Hey, great. Oh, that reminds me. Two days from now, there's going to be another Tunisian video. Friday morning, 8.30 a.m. Eastern time, there will be another Tunisian video uploaded. So look forward to that. I shouldn't tell you the exact same time, though, huh? I should probably just say, hey, just hang out on YouTube with my channel open all day long and, and just wait for it to spontaneously happen. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, so a Tunisian video and um, another video next Wednesday, the giveaway on the 19th. Mm, I want to do some beads for you guys, some crocheting with beads projects. Um, yeah. I don't know what I did with the red hat. I think let me let me go grab the red hat and I'll show you. So count to 10. Did I make it back in 10 seconds? <laughs> so here's the hat that I made for Chicky for Mara. And I made it out of Cascade Anthem. And this is how much left I had in the skein. And it's uh, 186 yards. So this is how almost a whole skein. So if I was doing my um, one skein philosophy, <laughs> like I do for the book, I would like use it up. I'd find a way to use it up. I'd add a pom-pom. I'd make it slouchy. I'd add a brim, something to use up the yarn because I hate leftovers. And 26 seconds. Did it really take me that long? I'm getting slow. Okay. So here's the hat and I finished it and I, I like it. So this isn't quite the right color. So I think this one might have to be for me. What do you think? So I, the top part is like a Tunisian uh double crochet link double crochet and then when i got to the um cra uh, crown total size then i went down with the basket stitch so let's see how how good this this is a little tomatoey in terms of color so here's so i might have to keep this one for me what do you think of that how do you like my apples? So my shirt, my sweater is kind of a more orange, corally, bright color. And this is more of a tomato red. So you know what? Maybe I'll just go ahead and use it up and add a little bit, a few more rows. And then, I, then it can be more slouchy. And then I won't have any leftover yarn. Since I'm just making it for me right now, since it's not the right color for her, I'll just go ahead and use up that yarn. I think that's the plan. I think that's the plan. So there you go. Yeah, I'll just add, add some more stitches and make it a little slouchier. Add some rows and use up the yarn because I love to use up yarn. Okay, so yeah, so we're gonna, I'm gonna remake this in her, the color, the Indiana University color. Slouchy with a fur pom-pom. I'll have to, I think I'm not really embraced the pom-pom, but it might be time. Hey, Glenda, how are you? It might be time to embrace the pom-pom. It might be time because I've not done that. So I had just thrown the leftover yarn in the hat. And guess what? There was a hook in there. So I guess I could keep right on stitching. The problem is 
I don't know where the dog went. And he's been really quiet for like several minutes now. So who knows what that's all about? Makes me kind of nervous. Hey, Hobie. <laughs> that's, that's not a good sign. When that dog is quiet, it's not a good sign because he is so busy. He steals stuff. He's a thief. Yep. Do I have a pattern for a little boy cardigan? Yes, I do. So I have, I think on that love crochet tab, I'm going to click and look real quick. There is a unisex Zoom Tunisian cardigan. It's raglan top down. Um, and it's, it's in yellow and green in the photo, but you can make it any colors you want. And so it is unisex. And so there's that on the love crocheting tab. And there's none other on this page right now. So there's that one. Here, let me click on it for you. And then there. So if you want to do a Tunisian garment, this is an excellent first Tunisian garment. And I did have it. Oh, oh, ah, oh no, I pushed the wrong button. Um, I did have it professionally tech edited. Okay, so here's the link for the Tunisian Zoom baby cardigan. What size little boy? Because then the other one I've got is on Ravelry. So let's look that up. And I'm trying to remember what that one was called. It was a vest, it was a sweater vest for little boys and I really liked it. And I'm trying to think of what it was called. It was a long time ago, a long, long time ago because it was in um, Crochet Today magazine and it was a little boy's vest and it was green with um, tan trim. So I am searching on Ravelry for it. And I don't remember what, was it just called Little Boy's Vest? It was back in like 2010. So it should be on like this page right here. Little Boy's Vest. Too many. You know, there's like seven pages at 50 items a page. So it's a little hard to find. Let me see what I can find here. So yes, I do have a little boy's, it's a, it's a sweater vest. It's a cardigan, like button up little, let's call it little boy's vest, Ellen, and search that. And it says nothing. Well, there's something, I promise there is. Little, little boy vest, let's take out the S and see if that pops up. Try to think of what it was called. Oh, there it is. His best vest. <laughs> That's what it was called. Okay. I I love Ravelry for the database. I do. Yep. His best vest. Way to go. There you go. And here's the link. So there's that. So what I liked about the little boys, his best vest is the bottom edge of the vest is curved. And then it's a V-neck. So you get lots of different, you get to play with um, decreasing on the bottom edge and you get to play with decreasing on the V-neck and then you can do buttons. So that would be an adorable little girl vest as well. Um, I don't know what eight, oh, you said nine years old. Okay, so his best vest. I don't remember what size that goes up to. So you might have to do some math. It goes up to size eight. So you might have to do some math to um, get it the right size for him. So anyway, it's a start. <laughs> so I hope you like it. Let's see, anything else? Well, thanks for keeping me company for a few minutes, even though life got all of a sudden got super distracting. Like as soon as I hit go live, like Patrick just landed in New York, which he had already, like I already, knew that but like he didn't tech you know and then the dogs i don't even know where the dog and cats went that's like worrying me because they're quiet now and they're never quiet they're usually wrestling 
So anyway, so Pamela Allen is the winner. Yay! So stay tuned for the 14th. There will be a Tunisian video. The 19th will be another giveaway and um, lots of other good stuff coming up the pike for you. So thanks so much for joining me. I hope everybody has a great day. I know I'm going to because my boy is home. So I already hit the grocery store and bought all his favorite foods so that when he comes home tonight, he can have whatever he wants. <laughs> Reward them for coming home. <laughs> That's my plan. Thanks, everybody. Take care. Bye.